McCormick County isn't exactly a hopping place, but today it was a different story. The sheriff's office got several strange calls about a kangaroo hopping up the highway, and they thought, yeah, right, but callers were right. It was a roo on the loose. Sam Marshall owns a convenience store that sits just off Highway 28 in Clarks Hill. This morning, as his customers hopped on over, they had something a little different to talk about. Get everybody excited, and they wonder what's going on. You know, seeing a kangaroo in this part of the country. An escaped kangaroo bouncing a couple miles down the road, and a lot of people were pulling over to catch a glimpse. You kind of do a triple take, quad, quadruple take. Yeah, you do, you do. The McCormick County Sheriff's Office says their phones were ringing off the hook. We got five calls into our dispatch center this morning that said there's a kangaroo off the road on Highway 28 in Clarks Hill. Sheriff Clark Stern says this is the first time they've ever been called about something so exotic. Livestock on, in roadways and on railroad tracks. It's kind of common in McCormick, uh, but a kangaroo sparked a little bit of a different story. Uncommon, but not illegal. They can have exotic animals. They just have to get permitted and licensed and bonded, and they can have exotic animals. South Carolina law permits owning exotic animals as long as you have the right paperwork, which Stern said the owner of this jack did. It was simply a case of a pet roo on the loose. Once before, we had a strange animal down there in that area. Marshall says he thought the peacocks he saw along the highway a little while back were pretty crazy, but after this, he says nothing can surprise him. Just another day in Clark Hill. <laughs> and this story does have a happy ending. We're told the kangaroo was eventually corralled by the owner and is now safe and sound. No drivers were hurt. Maybe a few cases of whiplash from the double takes, but a lot of drivers sure to remember this one for a while. In McCormick County, Matt Koufax on your side.